the most venerable uh, Dr. Kamaratana Nayaka Mahathir, the religious advisor and the founder of the Singapore Buddhist Library. And venerable sirs, uh, distinguished guests, uh, we are gathered here today to remember the service rendered by the most venerable Bhante I have a speak, Bhante Dhammarathana Nayaka Mahathir. He came to Singapore at the age of 33 or oh, around that period. And he spent most of the time to serve for the people of this country. Last 47 years, he had given the greatest support for the Buddhist community at large, as well as the support for the other communities too by serving, uh, by providing some social service and the advices for the others. Venerable Bhimala Jyoti Thero, the religious advisor of the Buddhist library at the present, he came to my center and asked, Bhante, can you attend for the 80th birthday of Bhante? I was surprised, even though we were together many years, I did not realize that he reached up to the age of 80. I did not. Say, I thought that he was around 70s. Huh? So, anyway, looks strong and able to continue his service for the communities of Singapore at the heart in another many, many years. Unfortunately, something had happened. Therefore, it's a very sad situation for even even a Sri Lankan Buddhist community. His brother has passed away. After Bhante had to move from Singapore to Sri Lanka very often. I think Bhante will continue his service. I came to Singapore 1981 at that time. Bhante brought me with my teacher to the Buddhist, the Sarana Buddhist Association. At that time, it was on the attached house, you know, the, on the, on the lock. Yeah. He was, collect, he was uh, forming a fundraising project at that time. There's a box to donate anything. Anyone like to donate something, there's a box. One day, Bhante and myself went out for some religious services. Immediately, he came back to the center. I also accompanied him. He took out all this red packet and put into this box. I said, Bhante, why? <laughs> My task is to build this place Therefore, whatever single cent donated by the devotees, I must put it to see the success of the building of this monastery at that time. Therefore, he did not come for other purposes. He wanted to build the monasteries where people can gather and they can do the service at last for the community in this part of the world. And. Mr. Brother George uh, at that time uh, helped Bhante to build the Buddhist library, Yoko So building at that, that time. I said, I, I went with him, if I'm not wrong. Then initiated to build the Buddhist monastery at that time onwards. So he successfully moved from one place to another, 2029 20, or Gelang and to Number nine, no? number nine, Gelang Road to 24. Yeah, Gelang, no wrong. So he moved and built. But always Bhante said that this is the tallest Sri Lankan Buddhist monastery because his building is very high, four story building. That's why he had to all the challenge, as Bhante said, build the permanent places for Singaporeans to practice their Dharma. We really appreciate that Sri Lankan Buddhist monk. We really appreciate it. 
And Bhante also travelled very often, you know. Bhante Vipalaja say he went to London. Who is going to London to collect books? Huh? I am not real, I want to cannot carry 30 kilos of books from London to Singapore. But Bhante, whenever he travelled from place to place, he is going to book shops where he can find some suitable Buddhist books or suitable books for the Buddhist library. Till today, he has been continuing his service to build up the Buddhist library for last many years. That is the success. That is the library where we can have the highest research work even based on Buddhism. Not only that, but they had initiated to uh, start the what is that, the Buddhist, not university, affiliated college where people can start to learn Buddhism, BA, MA and PhD, affiliated with the Kalani University. I think some of them have achieved their target. I'm very happy that most of my devotees also sometimes they come to Buddhist library and say, we are going to study Buddhism further. I say, go ahead. Huh? Go and study, but one thing remember, please come back to teach us <laughs> our center too. Therefore, Bhante had given all sorts of services for the community in Singapore. Not only that, he got most of the professional people to teach the Dhamma. Buddhist library is the only place. My place, I did not invite any professional person to teach Dhamma. Huh? But Bhante, uh, non sectarian, I mean, non sectarian Buddhist leaders, lamas, the professors, no, the scholars, came to teach the Dharma in this particular place. Therefore, please remember, we had quietly rendered the greatest service for the community of Singapore, Buddhist community of Singapore. Even in Sri Lanka, he should not move from Sri Lanka to Singapore. We have a very great monastery, Pellangila Raja Mahavihari, the great monastery. He had given up. He prepared to give up everything, you know, that is why he given up that monastery and given up another monastery, he given up another monastery, he given, not going to give up Buddhist library, what he said. We hope that everything will be according to his wishes. And finally, some secret I have to reveal at this moment. Uh, 10th of December to the 15th of December, uh, we had the World Buddhist Sangha Council. You know the World Buddhist Sangha Council. The Secretary General of the World Buddhist Sangha Council was the Venerable Dr. Viman Pratana Mahadeva Prada, Man Bhante of the Bhante Dhamma Finally, we agreed, all the committee agreed to appoint our Bhante as the General Secretary of the World Buddhist Sangha Council for the next five years. I hope that Bhante can serve for Singapore, Sri Lanka, as well as the World Buddhist Community too. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you for giving me a little opportunity to say a few words. We wish Bhante long life and good health to continue his spiritual work further. Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you, Venerable.